Hello everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I will demo how to deploy a Mule application to Cloud Hub 2.0 using Runtime Manager. Let's start. I have created a Mule application in any point code builder. We can use either any point studio or the any point code builder to create a sample Mule application. I have created a sample Mule application Cloud Hub 2 CS2 deploy demo. Here I am using HTTP listener path is uh, slash greeting. Then I am using logger. I am logging the hello there log message. And at the end I am using transform message component. And I am creating a JSON message message hello there so i'm using http listener path is slash greeting then i'm using logger and at the end i'm using transform message component http listener is listening on port 8081 now i will create the deployable jar file for this project so i will go to the view command palette and here I will select export project to mule deployment jar so I will create a deployable jar using the command uh, export project to mule deployable jar So this command is using maven package maven command deployable jar has been created under target directory so we have deployable jar here that we just exported We will deploy this jar to Cloud Hub 2.0 using Runtime Manager. So I will go to the Anypoint platform. Here I will go to the Runtime Manager. I will select the Environment Sandbox. I will click on Deploy Application. Here I will provide the application name. I will give the application name greeting app deployment target I will select the cloud hub 2.0 so in this demo I am going to deploy the application on cloud hub 2.0 so I will select the shared space as a deployment target if you are using license version then you will get the option of 12 regions and you will get the 12 Cloud Hub 2.0 shared space target. Here I am using trial version, so I am only getting the option of uh, US East region, shared space in US East region. In trial version, we only get the US East region shared space target option. So I will select the US East shared space Cloud Hub 2.0. I will choose the application file. I will upload the file. I will copy the path from here. Paste it here. I will select the deployable jar that we exported a couple of minutes back. We have tabs runtime, ingress, properties and logging. Under runtime, we can select the release channel. We have option age, long term support, and none. Release channel age releases a new minor version every four months, and uh, long term support version release channel 
is a minor version that is released once a year. We can know more about this on this page. So age is released uh, three times in a year in February, June and October. And uh, long term support is annual release that is released on February. Age provide uh, four month standard support and uh, long term support is 12 month standard support. This release channel is started from Mule 4.5 runtime version. So I will select the age and runtime version is 4.6.042 and E is for age. Java version default Java 8 is fine. In replica, we can select uh, one replica count. If we want to deploy application in high availability mode, then we can select more than one replicas. So in this demo, I will select uh, replica count eight and that's max we can select. Replica size, I will go with the minimum 0.1 B core. By selecting replica count more than one, I'm telling Cloud Hub 2.0 to deploy this Mule application in high availability mode. In high availability mode, request will be load balanced between uh, eight replicas because we selected more than one replica we can choose the option for cluster mode so right now if we don't select the cluster mode that means uh, the request will be load balanced between eight replicas but the data between replica will not be shared to share the data we need to select the cluster mode so i will select the cluster mode that means Data between replica will be shared using Hazel cast. So all the replica in the cluster will share the data in memory. In memory sharing of the data will be provided using Hazel cast because we selected the clustered mode here. We can enable the object store V2. For deployment model, we can either select rolling update. Rolling update means uh, this will provide zero downtime. That means uh, old version of uh, application will keep running until the new version of the application is fully deployed. It will incrementally update the replicas. So if we don't want a rolling update, we can use another option recreate. In this case, application will be stopped and uh, it will terminate the replicas and uh, deploy the new version of the application on replicas. So in case of recreate, zero turn time feature will not be available because the it will terminate all the replicas and then redeploy the application. For a small time span, it is possible that uh, application may not be accessible because all the replica will be terminated and Cloud of 2.0 will redeploy the application on those replicas. So in this case, I will go with the rolling update that provide a zero downtime. Under ingress tab, we can select a forward SSL session. That means a certificate detail will be forwarded to the application and application can authenticate and it can access the certificate detail and it can provide any other validation if required. We can also choose the last mile security. By default, HTTPS will be terminated at ingress load balancer and the connection between load balancer to the application will be in HTTP. If we want a connection to the application should be HTTPS, then we need to select last mile security. In that case, connection between ingress controller and application will be secured and connection will use HTTPS. If we are choosing last mile security, then uh, in our application, we need to configure the HTTPS. In HTTP listener, key configuration, 
key store detail and key detail for TLS. So we need to configure TLS configuration using uh, keys and we need to provide that key store detail and key detail and we have to use HTTPS as a protocol. But in this demo I have not configured the application to use HTTPS and I have not provided any TLS configuration. So I will not use the last mile security. But if you want to secure the communication between ingress controller to the your application using HTTPS, then you can use the last mile security as well. Under property tab, here we can uh, define properties. We can create the properties. We can provide the key value here. Like we can create one property master key as a name of the property and value we can say ch2 square value we can protect using protect option then no one can see this uh, property value the value cannot be viewed and retrieved that means it's encrypted and once it is encrypted we cannot view this value so let's protect this value now it's not visible now we cannot see what value is assigned to this uh, property key but if you want to change the value we can change the value using replace protected value option under the logging tab we can uh, forward application log to any point monitoring so we can uh, enable and disable we can change the log label and here we can provide the package name so which package should be logged under which log label all that information you can configure here so you can customize the logging here so now i'm going to deploy the application so i will click the deploy application application is start deploying it's uploading the file deployable jar file we can go to the applications so it's deploying the application we can see the log So it's creating replicas. We selected eight replicas. So it's creating eight replicas. An application will be deployed on eight replicas. So we have different names of replicas. 60D, 4X, BDK, X, G, 8K, JPT, like that. SMX, 98. So it will create eight replicas and deploy application on all eight replicas. Application has been deployed. We can see the green signal. So here we can see that greeting app has been deployed. Target name is shared space. Target type is cloud hub 2.0 status is running in cloud hub 1.0 target name is cloud hub target type is cloud hub and status is started. In case of cloud of 2.0, the status is running, not the started. Runtime version, we can see that we selected 4.6.0, 42E age, channel age. Update available, that means it shows the, if any new version of a runtime is available, this information is available under this column. So this application I deployed previously on cloud of 2.0 and I deployed on 4.5.3 and it's telling that there is a minor version is available because now 4.6 is available that's why it's showing this uh, small notification that uh, now newer version of runtime is available and it's a minor version. So this column provides this detail that uh, if any new minor version is available, new release channel has come or not. So that information we can see that and this is a date modified. I will go to the log again. I will search for 
hazel cast and we can see that the replica is coming here all the eight replicas as we selected the cluster option so this clustering is being enabled using hazel cast hazel cast is providing in memory data sharing between replicas and we can see that hazel cast cluster manager and uh, embedded space created Cloud of 2.0 use Hazelcast to share the NMOA data between replicas and we can see that these are Hazelcast enabled. Initializing HA module using Hazelcast manager. So all eight replicas are HA enabled and the data between replica is shared using Hazelcast. I will go to the settings. This is public endpoint. We can access our application using this endpoint. We can also get the public URL from here. So public endpoint have the application name, then uh, unique ID based on uh, application name, then dot sard, and then shared space number, then uh, region, and then dot cloudhub.io. So in cloudhub 2.0, there is no need of a uh, giving unique application name, it append the unique ID, then SARD ID, then SARD number in case of shared space, then uh, region and then cloudhub.io domain. Let me click it. I will access this application. Greeting. and we are getting the response message hello there this is all in this video i wanted to show you how to deploy mule application on shared space in cloud hub 2.0 if you like this video click the like button and subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you very much